The Detroit Lions, New Orleans Saints matchup is going to be really intriguing. Uh, in, in, in the 8 o'clock matchup on Saturday night on NBC. Uh, you have the New Orleans Saints, three, uh, the third seed, the NF, NFC South champs against the uh, Detroit Lions. Uh, a nasty team, first year, first time, uh, explosive offense, first year in the playoffs for this team. Uh, the keys for the Lions in this game is can Matthew Stafford stay on the hot streak that he is? You got the two hottest quarterbacks right now going into the season in Drew Brees and Matthew Stafford. The last uh, the last five games these these two quarterbacks have put up have been phenomenal. So I want to see can he can he uh, maintain that that pl that level of playing that he's on right now, Matthew Stafford? Uh, can he continue on his hot streak? Uh, not turn the ball over, uh, make big plays, make crucial third down, uh, crucial third down plays, and can and just get this young team. Can he can he be the leader of this young team and get them into the next round of the playoffs? Uh, another key is how does how does this secondary hold up against this the playmakers on the outside? With uh, we got Drew Brees, you have Jimmy Graham, Darren Sproles, you got um, Courtney Roby, Devery Henderson. Uh, Ma uh, Marquise Colston, Robert Meacham, you just have playmaker after playmaker after playmaker on this offense. And the secondary, especially, especially I say the, the safeties are not as good and uh, are not as good as the players that they're going to be going up against. It's just a high powered offense. So I want to see how, how they, how they can find a way to hold up. Uh, do they blitz more? Do they, do they zone blitz them? Do they, uh, cover two? Just find a way just to hold up against this team or the front four is going to have to help out a lot as well. Another key is going to be experience. Like I said, I think this is the first time in about 10 or 11 years that the Lions have been in the playoffs. Um, a very young team. You got guys like Calvin Johnson, the core, Dominican Sue, Kyle Vandenbosch. He's a guy that's been in the playoffs with the Tennessee Titans before. Maybe he has a lot of the, uh, experience there. Um, I think Chris Houston, was in the, uh, Chris Houston was in the playoffs before. Uh, and you just how how do they react to the loud noise in New Orleans, the playoff atmosphere, the winner go home mentality? How do they act to the do do they do they rise up to the occasion, or or do they shrink in the big moment? That's going to be a really thing, a really good thing to see. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes, especially when it comes to uh, just just stupid penalties like personal foul calls, like it like there wasn't a game. Um, the, the Monday night game a couple or Sunday or Monday I think it was a Sunday night game where they was just, they had about 11 penalties and about half of them were personal fouls so I want to see how this team reacts and how this experience going to hold up this inexperience that they have in the playoffs but players to watch out for in this game are going to be Calvin Johnson the wide receiver uh, the tight end Brandon Pettigrew uh, Adama Kinsu and, and Kyle Vandenbosch those are the guys I think who are going to be players to watch out for in this Lions for this Lions team the keys for the Saints is protecting Drew Brees. Can you keep him protected? Uh, I think this Lions team is the, the second best defensive line in the whole NFL. When you look at Nick Fairley, Corey Williams at the defensive tackle position with Dominican Sue, Cliff Averill, um, and, and Kyle Vandenbosch. And, and, and those guys, they're just, they just come at you. They're relentless. They come after you every play, every play. So that front, the, the five or the max protect, if they go six or seven, how are they going to find a way to protect Drew Brees, keep him upright in the pocket, and, and make him make plays, and have allow Drew Brees to make plays or the running backs to make plays? they got to find a way just to protect Drew Brees, I would say. So the offensive line is going to be key. Um, containing Calvin Johnson, I, it sounds easier than it is. Calvin Johnson is one of the best players that we have, a, a great playmaker, freak athletic 6'5", can run 4'3". Yeah, he just makes big plays after big plays, so you got to find a way to contain him. Is it double teaming, uh, bracketing, rolling coverage to his side? Which way? How are you going to do it? So that that's going to be a big thing. And I think field position for this uh, this team. I know, and, and it's kind of crazy when you talk about field position with the Saints, who could score as better better than anybody, or as best, or probably the better scoring offensive team in this league. But getting field position, um, cutting the field in half. If it if it's Darren Sproles on a punt return, or Courtney Roby on a on a punt return, kick return, Debbie Henderson on a kick return, uh, turning the ball over, just finding a way to or or pinning pinning uh, the lines deep with a punt or covering good on a on a on a kickoff, just making them have a shorter field to go and make the lines have a longer field to go. So field position is going to be another key for this team. Uh, the players to watch out for in this game is going to be Darren Sproles, the uh, 
the running back slash special teamer for them, the punt returner, uh, Jimmy Graham, who's who's emerged as a star, who emerged as a young star in this league as well at the tight end position. Cedric Ellis, the defensive tackle, who's going to be causing havoc, and Malcolm Jenkins, the free safety for the Saints. Uh, the matchup to watch out for in this game is going to be the interior offensive line of the Saints. So that means um, Jabari Edwards, uh, the center, and um, and Carl Nix against the, uh, versus the interior line of of the uh, Detroit Lions, which you got Corey Williams, Adamakin Sue, and Nick Fairley. Uh, I say that's going to be the biggest test because when you have a spread out offense and, and a spread offense. The, the best time you try to get pressure up the middle so the quarterback can't go anywhere or it's easier for the run game getting pressure up the middle being able to sustain that so I think whoever can win that battle if those if the offensive line the interior the three the two guards in the center can keep Drew Brees upright and, and, and keep his uh, sight line they should be able to win this game but if if not uh, I think if the Lions or Dominican Sue can have a huge game, one of those games where he just changes the, just changes how, how this game is played or he's just making play after player disrupting in the backfield, I think the Lions have a chance to win this game as well. But that's going to be a, a key matchup, matchup to watch for. And uh, the one big key in this game is going to be rush offense. Uh, both of these teams, though, run the ball really good. Uh, you have Kevin Smith of the Lions on one side. They don't have their best running back in, in Javid Best. And you have New Orleans on the other side. Um, if they can't, if for somehow Drew Brees can't run to throw the football as well as, as they have been doing all season, they're going to have to find a way to run the ball with Pierre Thomas, Darren Sproles, or um, Cor uh, Chris Avery. So, Ivory. So, I want to see, or, or or Mark Ingram as well. So, they got to find a way to get a running game. So, I think whoever has the most rushing yards at the end of this game will probably win. Um, I'm picking the Saints. I think it's going to be close at first. But I think the Saints pull away at the end. But I won't be surprised if the Lions upset them, even though I'm picking the Saints, just because I think Adamic and Sue can have that type of game where he's like, he where he makes that difference. Where oh my God, and Adamic and Sue's in the backfield. He's in the backfield. He's making plays. He's making plays. He's getting sacks. I think that's the only way the Lions can upset if if Adamic and Sue has one of those games like a Warren sack, just just changes the whole way that game is played. So I'm picking the Saints. Uh, I say about. 35-28 Saints uh, moving on to the next round uh, let me know what you guys think who you think who you got winning who you think are going to be big play players in this game um, and I'll talk to you guys later